Sheep freedom! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Sheep freedom! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Sheep freedom! Now! Hey guys, what's up? Attacking Toucans here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. We have Mr. Ponytail Wonder right here. And last episode, we met Mindy in Hollywood, and she is helping us become a fantastic skater. What the heck did I just land on? A fire escape? That was a total accident. I didn't even know this was here. Holy shit, I never knew you could get up here this way. Well, we are now on the roof of some building in Hollywood. Let's go ahead and just skate up this wire. Ah, okay, never mind. We come up here later in the game. I never knew you could actually get up there. That was a complete accident. Anyways, last episode, Mindy wants to show us this really cool skate ranch, but right now we can't get to it because it's in Beverly Hills. And that's where I want to be! But it's blocked by these sheep protesters who are tired of people using wool to make clothes or something. Some PETA shit. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to our homegirl Mindy and see if she knows a way to get rid of these protesters. The way to the ranch is blocked off. When do we want it? Now! The people for the ethical treatment of sheep are protesting the use of wool. Can you believe it? People will protest anything in this town. And I say you get Joan over over there. Hmm, it's kind of hard to make out, but I do speak a little bit of drunk from living with my old man. He's telling you to trick on the rooftop of that museum. Room. He seems to think if you land enough big combos on the museum rooftop, it should take care of the protesters. It's either that or he thinks it'll kill you. I don't know, it's worth a shot. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to land high combos, high combos of 2,000 points to weaken the structures on this roof to destroy the protest that is down there. Now, I like love animals and everything, but I've never understood like trying to protest things where nothing's gonna change. Like protesting gigantic clothing corporations to stop using a certain type of cloth or material to make clothing doesn't really do anything, but I guess protesting is the best way to make change? Maybe not, I've never actually protested something before, but as we all know from YouTube updates, protesting absolutely does nothing. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh my god. Sharp tooth! Ah! One last middle-aged mom in the world. So sad. Holy sheep! I guess this proves that T-Rex was a carnivore. I'll meet you at the ranch. To get there, just head up that escalator into Beverly Hills and go straight down the street. If you get lost, don't forget to use your map and compass. Oh my god, I love Mindy so much. I just love the way she talks. I love her personality. She's probably in my top 10 favorite video game characters of all time. She is just that fantastic. Now, one thing I want to talk about real fast is this game, the developers, one thing that really pushed to marketing was that this game was actually going to be one gigantic level where you just skated around everywhere and there'd be no loading times and no waits in between levels. And that was somewhat true, but they kind of lied. There actually is a bunch of levels, but they're connected by these long, somewhat bland hallways. And when you're inside these, it loads the next level rather than you having to wait during a long loading screen where you have to watch a bar fill up. Now, I'd say this is better than a loading screen, but I think they also kind of exaggerated with their whole no loading, one gigantic level thing, but it's okay. Anyways, we're about to listen to Tony Hawk's Demolition Radio. Hey, this is Tony Hawk. You were listening to Demolition Radio on Sirius Satellite Radio. We just got word in from Hollywood. Some local skaters wiped out an entire protest, causing a traffic jam and leading to dinosaur sightings on the Sunset Strip. So if you're in the area, be on the lookout for a 50-foot T-Rex. So let's check out another tune on Tony Hawk's Demolition Radio on Faction. All right. Also, what does that say? Una maze. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. So now we are in Beverly Hills, that's where I want to be, hey, hey, skating in Beverly Hills. I like this area, it's one of my favorite areas of the game, that's a lot. <laughs> this is actually probably one of the most bland areas of the game to be honest. Uh, it's not bad, but it really is not anything special, it's probably like the most suburban style area in this game. But we're not going to be here for that long for the time being. First off, we want to go and talk to Mindy to try to get into the skate ranch. We're about to meet some awesome freaking characters.
Yeah, get your front row and backstage. Ah. No, don't worry about it. Come on, I know a guy. Murphy, let us up there. Hundred bucks and a date with your sister. Ah. Okay, done. <laughs> nah, it's not happening. We have a very strict no noobs policy. He's not a noob. He's all right. He's just... Sully, what's up? Yeah, I can talk. Ah, no, I, I can't. I can't. Oh, you're worthless, Murphy. Here comes Boone and useless Dave anyway. I'll clear it with them. Try this one. Whoa! Oh man, you stupid <laughs> boy! Oh! Whoa, sweet combo. You know, day one busted that exact same line here last year. Well, except for that head smashing into a car part. <laughs> Who's the tool? I'm a tool. Yeah, nice bail back there. You get a massage with that facial? Boom, he's a friend of mine. I thought he could chill with us and maybe session the ranch. Well, you thought wrong. The ranch is our spot. No huckers, especially not cocky ones. No problem. You don't have to let me in there. If I felt threatened by someone better than me, I'd do the same thing. You think you're that good, huh? All right, let's see what you got. Prove me wrong and the ranch is all yours. Tell you what, Hucker, you pull these combos and we'll let you speak with Iggy. Murphy's got the illest tech skills around. I've got the Wallflip to not a spin dialed, man. Check it, the Wallflip to not a spin. Dave's the encyclopedia of useless skate trivia. Thug one had wall plants, but Thug two had this sticker slap. I can do them both in a sticker slap to wall plant combo. Sticker slap to manual to wall plant. And I go for the burly drops. Try this one, cocky noob. Spine transfer to nose grab front flip. Damn, your friends are pretty good. Gonna have to impress them. Do some of their combos and maybe they'll let you into the ranch. There's a group of radical skater extremists here in Beverly Hills called the Skate Club. They are always trying to recruit new members. So I'm sure they'll help you learn some new tricks. After you've learned a thing or two, find Boone, Murphy, and Dave. I'll see you soon. Oh, Mindy is so nice. All right, before I do any of this, I'm going to have a poll real fast. Do you guys want me to have a silly pink pigtail green facial hair look or after this episode do you want me to actually change my appearance and make myself look normal because sometimes some people get like they don't like the skater looking really weird they think it kind of takes away the immersion of the game because they can't take any of the things that they're saying seriously so let me know in the comments and I will read those and take them into consideration anyways let's start learning some of these moves the first one we're going to be learning is the sticker slap to wall plant combo. Now, in Tony Hawk Underground 1, as Useless Dave was saying, I love that character. Useless Dave is hilarious. He's kind of like Trigger Conroy because he knows like a bunch of useless information, but it's so interesting and you always want to hear it. Anyways, so in Tony Hawk Underground 1, they had the wall plant, but in Tony Hawk Underground 2, oh, I'm doing the sticker slap right now, they had the sticker slap whenever you hit a surface. You put a sticker on that surface, and as you see, ours is like the Nerve Soft logo. But in Tony Hawk Underground 1, they had the wall plant, and whenever you do that, you get some air off of your wall plant, but Sticker Slap kind of just makes you stay at the same altitude. <laughs> I'm not sure if altitude is something that you really talk about whenever you're talking about height when it's like four to five feet, but you know. But you can see that they get a lot of freaking height from doing those wall plants. A wall plant. I'm like a wallflower. Have you guys seen that movie, Perks to Being a Wallflower? That is such a good movie. If you guys like cute movies that make you feel good, I would really advise you to see that movie. I really liked it myself. Okay, so now we're going to learn the wall ride. Now, all the moves we're about to learn are some of the best moves to help us just finalize making all of our combos perfect so we can skate around these areas as best as we possibly can. Wall rides, sticker slaps, and wall plants just help connect everything. Especially say you're doing a grind and you're heading straight towards a wall. Originally, you would have no way to <laughs> continue your combo. You just hit the wall and probably die. But now that we have the wall plant, we can just jump off the wall and continue onward like nothing ever happened. Okay, so what should we learn next? I think we can learn the not a spin right over here with this guy. And all these guys, I'm pretty sure, have the same exact model. <laughs> They're all a shirtless dude with a band aid for an eyebrow. This is Kurt from Glee. I've been trying to do this trick I saw back in the day. 
What's that? I'll show you. It's called the Nada Spin. I feel like the Nada Spin is probably one of the most difficult moves that you perform in this game. Not like all the moves aren't difficult, but I feel like a Nada Spin would be nearly impossible to just keep your momentum. So you're about to see. Okay, so these are also kind of hard to perform. I'm not used to doing this on the Xbox controller really yet, but I should be able to do it. <laughs> that was pathetic. Dang it. Wait, am I pressing the right button? Okay, I'm not very good with Xboxes. I don't play Xbox very much. <laughs> I'm used to the GameCube controller. Dang it, what am I doing wrong? Okay. What? I'm totally doing... Okay, retry this mission. Damn it. Okay, there we go. I did it this time. But yeah, I feel like this would be impossible to do in real life. Now, like, a lot of the stuff you do in Tony Hawk games isn't impossible, but I think that's what made Tony Hawk's games fun back in the day, is the fact that you just did a lot of stuff that you couldn't actually really do in real life. Now, all skateboarder games try to do nowadays is make it as realistic as possible, and it's like, if I wanted to realistically skateboard, I would just go out and skateboard. I mean, I would never do that in the first place, because I'm not really a fan of skateboarding, but still, they're making all these games realistic, like, I like guess, skate. Skate is kind of weird. Seen lots of like glitchy video videos on how glitchy skate is recently. Uh, maybe that's just Skate 3. I'm not entirely sure, but I saw PewDiePie playing it, and it looked actually really fun. It's because of how hilariously glitchy it is. Now we're gonna learn the boneless, which helps us get a lot higher of a jump compared to normal. And this is one of my favorite moves to just do when I'm skating around. Now the boned Ollie. I never really do this move just because <laughs> I don't know. I don't really have a reason. But we just learned both of the boner moves, so that's good. Okay, that was actually really quick. That went by a lot faster than I thought it would. Um, now let's go ahead and learn spine transfers, which is right over here. Yes, now I have the bone list. I've been waiting for this move. <laughs> I mean, it's only been one episode, but I always want this move so badly. And I hate how you can't do any of the moves in this game until they teach it to you. But we're about to learn all of them. There's like a few moves left after this, but they t pretty much teach you everything worthwhile at the very beginning of the game. Okay, so spine transfers. I'm not sure why they're called this. I mean, I'm trying to think of a reason. Maybe because it takes a lot of work to your spine? I'm not sure. Actually, I'm pretty sure another word for like a canyon or something is a spine, right? I'm pretty sure in the book Aragon, they call like the mountains behind the village a spine. I don't know, I'm trying to find some connection and I'm not doing a very good job. Okay, now we're going to do front flips and back flips, which I did a pretty bad job. Usually it's easier to use the control pad during this. I totally thought I was about to crash. Oh, we just did a double back flip. But whenever you're doing a move that just requires you to point in one of the four cardinal directions, usually the control pad's a bit easier because it's a lot easier to precisely point in the direction you're going to. Rolls look fucking awesome. Not as good as actual dinner rolls, though. Dinner rolls... Look awesome and they taste awesome. These moves just look awesome. There's actually this restaurant where I live called Lambert's. And their like thing they do that makes them really popular is they throw rolls across the restaurant towards you. So like every like 10 minutes, so let's do an acid drop now. Every 10 minutes or so a dude comes out with a big tray full of rolls and you just like hold your hand up and he throws it across the restaurant. And if you don't catch it, it most likely will hit you in the face. So that's always fun, <laughs> and I've seen that happen way too many times. Sometimes it'll hit like the lights hanging from the ceiling and stuff too, and like drop on a table that's not even expecting it. It's so freaking hilarious. The restaurant is always super crowded, like if you want to go there, if you don't get a reservation, you might as well expect like an hour long wait. Unless you go on like noon on a Tuesday, then you don't really have a wait. Anyways, we have one more dude to talk to, and I love this dude, his voice is so much fun. In France, we don't need boards with wheels to do tricks. We do the parkour. What's flipping parkour? I will demonstrate. Watch as I do the wall run. You try to do it three times, okay? <laughs> wall run. <laughs> I love this dude. He's so nice. He kind of reminds me of this one dude that used to work at Canton with me. He didn't actually have an Italian accent, but just the way he acts, he's just so helpful with everything and so excited about everything he says. Try to do a few more flips. <laughs> Try to do a few more flips. One thing I love about this game is just the voice acting. They put so much time into the voice acting, and that's probably one of the best things about this game. Let's see how many wall flips we can do in this combo. Oh, oh, that's it. 
but no character no two characters sound alike in this game and that's one thing i really do have to give credit for is all the freaking voice acting and it all just sounds so good i think that's what makes all the characters so likable in this game okay now we're gonna do a gap across these what do they even say pick up and returns that's a fun sign there is lots of fun signs in this game though they put a lot of like detail into watch this game. me combo without board with wheels holy that's freaking wild man thanks for the lessons Attends, i have more tricks to show front and back ducks voila voila <laughs> i'm not talking over this guy just because he sounds so much different am i doing the right thing yeah i am Back, tucks are, back tucks are pretty easy. I almost said Nuck Tuck or Nup Tuck. That one dude from Korra. I'm not sure what his actual name is. It's something like that. Okay, three front tucks. <laughs> we did five. Oh, wow, we have a text message. I bet it's from Mindy. Okay, we learned so many things. Text messages. Let's see if I can talk in her voice. Nice job learning those skills. You may want... I can't do her voice. You may want to do some sponsor challenges before you find Boone, Dave, and Murphy in Beverly Hills. You're going to need all the stats you can earn to make it here in LA. That's probably a good idea. So let's go ahead and go to the skate shop over here and raise a bit more of our stats. I'm pretty sure the skate shop is over here. It's kind of dark during the nighttime. Is that it? No, that's a Nike store. Uh, here's the skate shop. I knew it was over here somewhere. Okay, learn a 50,000 point combo, wall flip two times in one combo, hold the lip trip for two seconds, and do three flip tricks in one combo. That'll be pretty easy. Let's start with three lip flip tricks in one combo. So I'm just gonna do a manual. Okay, wait, let's start with the flip, actually. Now that was a grab. Let's flip. Okay, that's the X button. God, I'm so good at this. Okay, manual, flip, manual, flip, manual. Oh, dang it. Manual, flip, manual, flip. I'm not very good at this. Let me go to like an actual area where I can get some air. That might help. Okay, one, two, three. There we go. Now let's try to get that 50,000 point combo. It shouldn't be too hard. We'll just get some multipliers on that. And then we'll just do some grabs. Oh my God. Did both of those. <laughs> we had 69,000 points. Coincidentally, this gas station over here is also na named 69. That's always funny. This game has my style of humor. Okay, I think we have one more to do. What was it? Wall flip two times in one combo. That's pretty easy. Let's go find a wall real fast, then we'll do that as well and raise a bit more of our stats, and then we'll talk to Boone, Murphy, and Useless Dave to prove ourselves. Okay, no, come on. What am I doing wrong? What? Maybe I can't do it on doors. That makes sense. Here's. Let's do it back where we learned how to do all these things. I'm doing awful right now. Come on. There we go. For some reason, I can't remember how to do these things. As I said, I'm used to playing this game in the GameCube, so I'm somewhat getting used to the Xbox controls still. All right, let's talk to Useless Dave, the useless encyclopedia of so information. You ready for the ranch, huh? Let's see you do a combo with what you learned. Okay, I'm gonna cut out the little cutscenes because we saw them do it once, and it's kind of pointless to watch it twice. Oh wait, I did in the wrong order. There we go. That was really easy. I think they're so impressive. Actually, this one can give you trouble sometimes. This one kind of takes luck sometimes. There's lots of missions in this game. This game isn't too difficult, but there is a few missions that you will get stuck on sometimes, just trying over and over to beat it. It's because sometimes it kind of just takes luck. And that time, I did it perfectly. But sometimes that takes me like 50 tries. I don't know why. Okay, Boone. He's bald like my dad. He kind of looks like my dad, except he's a bit skinnier, but his muscles aren't as big. My dad lifts weights so often, so he has like just the biggest muscles ever. His arms are probably larger than my head. So you don't want to mess with him because he might fuck your shit up. Oh, cop. Retry that. Okay. That's actually a really cool move. That looks freaking awesome. Wow, that was awesome! You nailed it! I haven't seen someone so dialed since that Rodney vs. Day One video! You proved yourself to us, Hucker. Now follow us up here to meet Iggy. Alright, so I think I'm gonna call this an episode here. We have now proved ourselves to Murphy, Useless Dave, and Boone. And next episode, we will go and see the Skate Ranch and meet Iggy for our first time. 
The Skate Ranch is definitely one of the coolest parts about this game. Anyways, thank you all for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me. And the comic question of the day is going to be about that thing I mentioned earlier. Should I stay looking ridiculous or should I make myself look normal for the rest of the Let's Play? Because I think we've all gotten our laughs from this. So it might be beneficial to just make ourselves look normal for the rest of the Let's Play. Let me know and I will abide to your guys' ideas next episode. See ya! Hey, hey! Yo, yo! They used to